My discipline is literary and cultural studies and um, there's a lot of new media and um, genres that have come in through digitalization, such as flash fiction, fan fiction, Twitter poetry and others that need to be studied. Um, then of course digitalization helps accessing those texts and other cultural texts through databases and archives. And the, the computation of great masses of data is also great for the analysis of literary and cultural texts. But I think the greatest opportunity for us is in the need for interdisciplinary work and interdisciplinary research. Um, we cannot hope to answer any of the questions of digitalization within the confines of our own discipline. So we need to reach out um, to other disciplines and engage with one another's work um, to, to answer any of the questions that digitalization brings along. The greatest challenge for my discipline is the sheer amount and the diversity of the data that, that we have now. Um, with all the, as I said, the fan fiction and the computer games, in addition to the printed book and all the other old cultural texts, um, this is really something that we need to cope with. And also this diversity has consequences for the, the way we look at reading processes. It's difficult enough to know how a printed text is read, but it's even more difficult to know how people understand digital text. What, how do readers regulate their emotions, for instance, when they run through a Twitter stream where the one thing is people dying of a hurricane in the Bahamas to the latest outrage about Boris Johnson and then the kitten videos. You know, how, how do people deal with that? Um, and the, the, the next challenge that comes with that is the literacy education. People need to know how to learn to understand these texts and deal with them in an age where um, of, of fake news and the hijacking of social media, of politics and so on. Um, people need to know how to think critically about what they read. My starting point will be that reading is amazing. It's a network of complex processes that happen silently, automatically, and almost unnoticed by the competent reader. So I want to point out what the principles of those reading processes are and what the, what the roles of memory, attention, and prior knowledge are to, to reading. And then I want to talk about the various modes of reading, not just digital as opposed to um, analog reading, but things like reading for orientation and navigation versus reading for learning or deep reading. Um, and finally, I want to introduce to students what critical literacy is and how to train it, how to learn it. Um, because I think, you know, it, in times of fake news and so on, it's important to know when to use your critical faculties to come to any conclusions about authorship, intention, ideology, and um, the quality of a piece of information.